So on my videos I usually try and start with some cinematic footage and that was the aim of the game today was to try and capture some nice shots but that's for later on in the video. For now it was an early start as we headed up the mountain. Good morning everyone. What a fabulous morning. It's a bit icy. It's crunchy underfoot and there's verglass over all these rocks. <laughs> and I'm just going to set a quick time lapse up here because the aim of today's video, I might be my son by the way, the aim of today's video is to try and get a wee cinematic sequence with time lapses and maybe take some photographs because this is just such a beautiful, beautiful area. So let's get this time lapse running. And uh, yeah, give me a second. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. So, yeah, we've been uh, <laughs> walking since dawn. Well, the first, it was dark basically when we left. <laughs> left the car. In fact, I can take the, uh, the headlight out, headlamp off. And it's been, uh, yeah, it's just the forecast is good today. There's a wee bit of snow on the tops. And um, we're going up a hill which Lewis, who's just behind the camera, hasn't been up before. We came up here a few years ago and went up this Monroe to my right called Stobcoy or Rainick, but my son wasn't feeling well, so we just did the one. So, yeah, an excuse to come back. And as I said, I'm going to try and get some, just a wee montage. Go to the end of the video if you don't want to hear me yapping on and you can see what it's like. So, let's get some pictures here for that end sequence. Right. Right, it'll be a uh, tackle this next but so there's another there's a wee steep pool here and then we'll bring you back when we're on the ridge there's a beautiful ridge leading to the summit of this Monroe it really is uh, very picturesque I need to pick up my camera that was doing the time let's go it'd been nice to stop at the Bielach and it'd been quite a steep pool especially after the early start and the next section was quite steep, but we knew once we got up here, it was a lovely ridge leading us to the summit of this magnificent mountain. So up we headed with the icy snow crunching beneath our feet. Oh. Now, the beautiful ridge behind us, this is the summit we're going to. Got the other camera doing some time lapse, but you know what, we're going to get our micro spikes on here because it's just a wee bit icy and uh, there's big runoffs down to the right there so we're going to get this on and uh, yeah we'll report back to we was. Right I've got some more footage now we've got our crampons on or our not crampons micro spikes got to be careful with these because there's too much snow they're useless but this frozen stuff almost icy stuff's perfect for them so you can catch up with Luna right back in a minute report back in a wee while let's go I'd spent a bit of time here taking some footage for this cinematic reel. No idea if it's going to be any good. <laughs> but anyway, Lewis had, he had headed on, so I needed to get my uh, get my skates on and catch him up. But you can see here the ridge along to the mountain, which is called Stob Do on Bukoletev Beg. It's just lovely. It's a real, really nice mountain. So anyway, up we headed, and before long, we were approaching the summit of the mountain. Well, here's a cairn, <laughs> although I can't remember, if I'm being honest with you, whether this is the top because there's a bit of a ridge here and there's another cairn at the end, but we're going to go along to the end irrespective of whether this is the top or not because the views from the end of this sea ridge are better than the views, although the views here are spectacular. Along here they're a bit better and I'll get some more of that cinematic footage, hopefully. A bit of a rocky ridge here, it's going to be a couple of hundred metres long, but we'll head to the end. Oh right, there's the view, hopefully you can make out behind me, that's the view everyone comes to see up here. So we're going to stop here and we're going to take some more footage and uh, yeah, we'll just... We'll put, as I said, we'll put this uh, wee film, a wee, a wee um, montage at the end. I don't know if I'll do a voiceover or just have music running on it. Time will tell. <laughs> but yeah, let's get something to eat here, get some more footage. And I'll talk a wee bit about the difficulties of filming this stuff today, especially today. It's been quite tricky. 
Right, let's get a seat here. It's not warm, and that's been one of the major uh, issues with filming today. Um, especially with Luke, he's getting cold, and you've got a lot of people getting cold, and my hands are getting cold. It's quite hard filming in the cold, because everything's a bit more fiddly, and you're keen not to stop for too long if you don't get a, a spot out of the wind. But uh, yeah, it's actually brightening up a wee bit. The sun's about to come out, which is typical, so you won't, you won't get any sunshine shots in the uh, cinematic... <laughs> film at the end but anyway another Munro for Lou I don't know how many times I've been up here um, so many times I've had some fantastic winter ascents up here in relative terms it's one of the easier Munros in Glencoe but don't let that fool you any more snow up here it's proper ice axe and crampon jobs everything's relative just because it's easier than some of the other ones doesn't mean it's not a, a place to take care of especially in the winter so but what a place and what views, the views down behind me into Glen Etif are just lovely but yeah, take the go, I need to go and collect my camera, it's doing another time lapse so let's report back when we're uh, heading back down the wonderful ridge of Stob Duver I don't know, we'll see if we, I'll maybe mention it to Lewis if he wants to do Stob Coyarenic but my wife and the dogs are waiting for us back in the van so we'll be heading back there and probably getting something to eat and then heading out for another walk which you won't be seeing. <laughs> right, let's head back down, I'll report back in a wee while. So back along the ridge we went, and I didn't do too much filming or capturing shots on the way back down, because I was quite keen to get back down to the Bielach, for reasons that I'll explain in just a minute. So this is back down at the Bielach, and I've literally run down here because... <laughs> I realised when I was on the ridge that I'd left my head torch at the cairn, all that faffing about. Another thing which happens when you try to take cinematic footage and any normal footage, make sure you pick things up. But I do know it's there because I've obviously been and put the camera down, the camera's on the cairn. So um, yeah, I'm glad that the head, head torch is still here because I didn't fancy splashing out for a new one. I only got this one <laughs> last year, so thank goodness for that. Anyway, I'll stop here for a minute. And then what we'll do, I think what I'll do now is I'll put the cinematic footage up now and I'll bring you back later on. Probably when I'm munching on a Lauren sausage roll down at the van. Um, still not sure whether it's going to be voiceover and music or just music. Probably the former. Because I often find that sort of footage just with music can get a bit boring. <laughs> anyway, everyone, each and one to their own. I'll try and not make it as cheesy as the mountains and sea one in Sky. Jerry thought I was drunk when I uh, narrated that. <laughs> right. Here it comes. Going to the mountains has a pool, a strange addiction that sees us coming back and back for more. As soon as you're finished one trip, you're immediately thinking about the next one. They make us get up early and head up with little sleep into the darkness. And that's what happened this morning. Sleep deprived, we had numerous stops on this steep ascent. And as the dawn light started to illuminate the landscape around us, we started to see what we'd come for. The mountains were showing themselves, and what a fabulous place this was. The higher we got, and the more mountains came into view and they were topped with a coating of snow which made them just absolutely beautiful and as the light started to get stronger the first rays were starting to catch the top of the mountains the alpine glow was absolutely spectacular another break as we reached the Bialach and some more food inside us we knew the next part was going to be steep, but we knew once we got to the top of this, the ridge awaited and the view ahead showed us the destination.
reaching the first peak and the ground was getting steeper and more icy so it was time to get the spikes on the boots to make things a bit safer but from here the views along the ridge to the destination and the summit of the mountain we were heading to were just fabulous we could see the ridge winding its way culminating in the summit of Stobdu. The views were spectacular and some memories were being made and what made them even more special is that my companion today was my son and I hope that these memories last a lifetime. It's a special place and even more special in these conditions. Anyway, up we headed and before long we were on the summit ridge. Heading for the summit and a famous view that looks down a glen and a long, a long loch. The views from the top were, as we expected, fantastic and we loitered for a long time. There was no rush, there's not many days in Scotland where you can see the mountains like we could see them today, where there's not too much wind, the snow caps the tops and the views are crystal clear. We were going to make the most of it. Too many days are spent head down trudging through a Scottish cloud with rain and high winds, so this was a lovely, lovely time to be spending on the top with my son. After taking in the views, it was time to start thinking about heading back. There's not that many hours of daylight at this time of year in Scotland, so We'd been up nice and early, had a lot of time on the summit to ourselves, and then we descended back down the mountain. Well, I hope you enjoyed that cinematic masterpiece. <laughs> it was uh, yeah, just a bit of fun. Yeah, back at the van now, we've had our Lorne sausage, I had two Lorne, two Lorne per piece, two pieces at uh, Lorne sausage, which was uh, really, really nice. It turned into a lovely day, the sun is out, and we've just been for a, long, a walk along to the Ralston Memorial uh, with the dogs. Just taking it easy, so I'm going to have another coffee now and head back down the road. So hope you've enjoyed this one. I'm going to sign out here. As always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next week for another adventure. Right, some coffee.